Hello, students! Uh, we're going to talk about calculating concentrations because you're going to want to know how to directly make a solution, how to actually make a solution in liquid and know how much is in there. We've talked about moles, we've talked about solutes, we've talked about solvents, we've worked with all these things. Now let's put some math in there because I know you love it and even more importantly it's good to know what things are. You work with things in solution all the time in your house, in your food. It's good to know what that actually means. Let's talk about measuring concentrations. So in solution, solutes are distributed evenly throughout the solvent. That's actually something in solution. If it is not, uh, if you just see particles down at the bottom, that's actually not in solution. Um, so it's going to be the same ratio throughout. Uh, that's called its concentration, how much is in there. Um, and there are many, many measures. Uh, there's PPM. You've probably heard about parts per million. Uh, there's carat, that's with uh, gold or silver, that's the capital K version. Um, these are actually solutions uh, measurements. Uh, there's percent by mass or volume, or we're going to talk about that. And then there's molarity, and with chemistry, the molarity is the most important because it's going to tell you how things in solution react and how much is going to be produced. So let's talk about the mass percentage of solutions. That gives the percent of the solution found in a solution. Uh, and mass percent, again, it's just mass over mass. It's mass of a solute over mass of solution. It should have grams over grams, uh, kilograms over kilograms, usually grams over grams, and then times 100. Uh, and I s note that it says mass of solution. A solution, again, is going to have the solute and the solvent in there. So it could be grams of solute plus grams of solvent those two things are going to add together to give you the mass of the solution. Let's go through an example. So let's say we have solution prepared by mixing 1.00 grams of C2H5OH ethanol uh, with uh, 100 grams of water. Calculate the mass percentage of ethanol in this solution. Well, we have the mass of the solute, so we know we have 1.00 grams of ethanol and we know this is our solvent of water, but be careful, don't just divide these two uh, because we have the mass percentage is actually that 100 gram divided by one, or that one gram of the solute uh, with the 100 grams of water and the one gram of ethanol of the, sol the solution. Uh, so these have to be added together. This is going to be the mass of the solution, these two things added together. So the mass percent is 100 over 101.0 grams. Uh, the mass percentage is 0.99% uh, C2H5OH. Uh, it is not 1%, it is 0.990%. Uh, calculating molarity. Uh, it's most convenient for chemists, describes the number of moles per solute divided by the liter of the solution. The symbol is always that capital M. Don't use lowercase m because that's meters and we're not going to measure concentration in meters. Uh, and the units are uh, mole per liter. Uh, m means moles per liter. So molarity is uh, equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of the solution. Uh, or otherwise big M equals um, mole over liter. Don't use milliliter. Uh, that's what we used in density. Don't get these confused. It always has to be in liters for molarity. So let's talk about molarity uh, of the solutions made from different things. So if we want one mole of solute in uh, 1,000 milliliters of solution, we know molarity is moles per liter. Uh, we have one mole in one liter. Uh, that means it's going to be one over one. The molarity is one molar. Uh, we see it in. This one mole went in that one liter. Pretty clever, right? One mole per liter. I know I'm hilarious. Now we have two moles, but we also have them in two liters. 
two moles solute in 2,000 milliliters solution. Uh, 2,000 milliliters is two liters. Uh, molarity is moles, number of moles over liters. We have two moles over two liters. That's going to be one molar. Uh, so now we're going to try this. Two moles of solute, one mole, two moles. We're going to put them in one liter. I bet you can figure this out. Two moles, look at them, they're in there. It's great, ha ha. Uh, molarity is moles per liter. Uh, two moles over one liter. Our molarity is now two over one, two molar. How about one mole in 500 milliliters? One mole, 500 milliliters, that's 0.5 liters. This is something to remember. Uh, you can either move it over one, two, three spaces, or remember that you should divide uh, the number of milliliters by a thousand. Milla means one one thousandth of uh, to get the number of liters. We got that guy in there. So uh, one mole divided by 0.5 liters is two molar. Uh, this is the same having one mole in half the size, the same as having two moles in the one liter beaker. Uh, so there's many, many ways to make a two molar solution. There's an infinite number of ways to do this, actually. Uh, just depends on the, uh, the ratio between the two. Uh, we could put four uh, moles in this two liter solution. It's just the ratio that's important. The number of moles, ratio of moles to the number of liters. So let's do a calculation example. What is the molarity of a potassium chloride solution that has a volume of 400 ml and contains 85 grams of KCl, potassium chloride? So I always start with, we have two givens here, right? Uh, we know we're going to use two equations. Um, uh, and I always start with the grams and figure out the number of moles first. Uh, so we have 85 grams KCl. This is just dimensional analysis. You've done this problem a thousand times before. We're just going to add a little bit to it. Um, so we have the molar mass of uh, potassium chloride down here, 74.55 potassium added to chloride. That equals one mole. It's the same as our T-chart as we've used in the past. The units cancel out, so we now have a number of moles, 1.14 moles KCl. Um, okay, we figured that out. We also have 400 milliliters. Well, that's not quite in liters yet, right? So we need that 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. Um, our units cancel out. We get 0. 0.4000 liters because uh, we had four sig figs. Uh, and we know molarity is moles per liter. So we have 1.14 moles divided by 0. 0.400 liters. That gives us 2.85 mole per liter or 2.85 molar potassium chloride. That's its concentration. All of these things are measures of concentration. So let's talk about concentrated versus dilute. Um, we think about it. If we say we have the same volume, one liter, solution A, solution B, same volume. This has three particles. This has five particles. Which one is more concentrated? They're just relative. But this one is going to be more concentrated over here, and this one's going to be more dilute over here. Uh, concentrated just has more solute relative to the uh, solvent. Uh, and really, a real-life application, uh, if you look at IV bags, if you look at a lot of chemicals, you're going to find um, that they have uh, molarities listed for each of these things that are in there. Uh, IV bags, they're, they're going to be filled with lots of things that you need that are vital, are vital to you. Uh, and they have millimole per liter. Uh, this is the same as uh, millimole per liter is the same as millimolar. Uh, remember, mol molar is moles per liter. This just means molar times 10 to the negative third. That's the same, exact same thing. Um, and that's, that's life. You can see this in real life. I'm, I'm not just uh, not just blowing smoke here. Uh, in chemistry, in real life, there is real applications. Uh, I hope that was helpful to help you understand how to work with uh, 
uh, concentrations. You're going to do some problems where you're figuring things out. 